All right, here we go. Three minutes of history talking about the Johnson Reed Act, right? The Johnson Reed Act, you know what that is. Well, I, you know what? I'm going to talk about it. So there you go. Johnson Reed Act, why is it important? Because it plays directly into the situation that we have today working with immigration. It also directly led to the run up to World War II with the attack uh, of Pearl Harbor with the Japanese and the, the, the ill feelings we had with the Japanese. So here we go. I'm going to start in 1922 because that's where you always start a couple years early. In 1922, Congress established a quota system to restrict the flow of immigration into the country. Now, prior to this, remember, we had just kind of opened our doors. Please come here. We got plenty of land. We got plenty of jobs. We need everybody. Well, everybody does not include some countries. So we came up with a quota system. And the quota system in 1922 said that if you go back to the 1910 census and you see how many people are from a certain country, you are allowed to immigrate 3% more per year based on how many people are already here. So for example, in 1910, if there were a hundred people from Spain who had immigrated to the country and become US citizens, you were allowed to have three Spanish people immigrate per year. See the problem here? Because if there's not a whole lot of Spanish here or Asians here or people from a certain country, we're keeping them out. Everybody else, come on in. Great Britain, for example. Obviously, we have a lot of people from Great Britain. Well, that's okay. Bring them in. But we don't want any of those other countries to come in. It also limited to 350000 per year. That was not enough. That's why we talk about the Johnson Reed Act, which came up two years later in 1924. It actually changed it even worse because it said instead of 3%, only 2%. So you take the total population of a certain country and you you get 2% of that gets to immigrate in. And instead of 1910, we're gonna go all the way back to the 1890 census when there were even fewer people from the countries that we didn't want people here to immigrate. And that is really what created the problem. The other thing that it did was it said, hey, no more people from Asia at all. No Chinese, no Japanese, none, zero. That did not set well with the Japanese, obviously, because we had had a, a gentleman's agreement with them and we had been working with them very closely. And they said, well, wait a minute, uh, why do we have to do this? And so they immediately placed a 100% tariff on American goods. So there you go. That started that distrust that came, um, that brought up World War II. That was, there you go. All right, with the last 30 seconds, I'm going to talk about Senator Albert Johnson. He was one of the guys that uh, sponsored this bill. Uh, he was friends with one of the leading eugenists of the area, a guy by the name of Harry Laughlin. Uh, and if you don't know what eugenics is, look that up in the 1920s, 1930s. They wanted to mandatorily uh, sterilize anybody who was unfit or had the potential to have a child that was unfit. And this was very popular in the 1920s and 1930s. So there you go. All right, the Johnson Reed Act, three minutes of history. Talk to you soon.